Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make foolproof homemade fudge. I'm a little bit picky when it comes to fudge. It has got to be smooth and creamy. Luckily, it doesn't have to be complicated to get the perfect homemade fudge. My foolproof fudge requires just three ingredients, sweetened condensed milk, chocolate chips, and vanilla extract. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a basic chocolate fudge using these three ingredients, as well as some fun and tasty variations. Start by pouring one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk into a microwave safe bowl. We're gonna make this in a microwave, but you could do the exact same thing on the stove top. Then you'll pour in 12 ounces, which is about two cups, of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and I like to use the good kind for this. And last, you'll need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You'll need either a nine by nine or an eight by eight pan, either will be fine, and you wanna line it with either parchment paper or aluminum foil. Then it's time to melt. Like I said, you could melt this on the stove top using a saucepan, but I am just gonna use the microwave. Microwave this on high in 30 second increments. Every 30 seconds, you'll wanna pull it out of the microwave and give it a stir. Keep on microwaving in 30 second increments until the mixture is completely melted. It should take somewhere between 90 seconds and two minutes to get a smooth melted mixture. Then you'll want to pour this into your lined pan. Then just smooth it out and press it into the corners. And then that's it. You'll just pop it into the fridge for two hours and your fudge will be ready. Super simple and foolproof, creamy, decadent fudge every time. Now for some variations. Nut fudges are always super popular, so I'm gonna make an almond fudge. So I have my chocolate chips and my sweetened condensed milk, but instead of vanilla extract, I am going to add in almond extract. Same amount, one teaspoon. And then just like we did before, microwave in 30 second increments on high. Once that's nice and smooth, add in about half a cup of slivered almonds and stir those in. Then bam, pour that right into your pan. You can do the exact same thing with your other favorite nuts like walnuts or pecans. And you can do that with walnut extract and pecan extract or you can just use vanilla, switch up the flavors and mix and match as you'd like. Want to make white chocolate fudge? Just swap out white chocolate chips in place of the semi-sweet. Then if you want to make a marbled fudge with white and dark chocolate, you'll split your sweetened condensed milk in half and then use just one cup of the chips for each bowl. And then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract for each. Just like before, we'll microwave each of these until they're melted. This time, we'll just kind of spoon in little globs all over the pan, the white chocolate and the semi-sweet. And then just use a butter knife to swirl this all together. The last variation I'm gonna show you is also my favorite, mint. And you have a couple of options here. They sell mint baking chips, so you can do what we did with the white chocolate marbled and do half of the mint chips and half semi-sweet. Or you can go with all semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then instead of adding in vanilla extract, you'll add in one teaspoon of peppermint extract. Microwave it in 30 second increments, just like we did before until melted and smooth. And then pour that mint chocolate goodness right into your pan. All of these will need to be refrigerated until they're hard, which will take about one to two hours. They'll also be stored in the fridge and they'll stay good in an airtight container for somewhere around about a month. Feel free to mix and match and customize and create your own delicious fudge creations. Smooth, creamy, decadent, delicious, foolproof fudge every time. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.